Hi, Mrs. Rihanna. I've been learning about prepositions in English, and I find them quite confusing. Can you help me understand how to use words like in, on, under, next to, and others correctly? Of course, I'd be happy to help. Prepositions can be tricky, but with practice, you'll get the hang of it. Let's start with in. We use in when something is enclosed or surrounded by something else. For example, the cat is in the box. Ah, I see. What about on and under? Right. We use on when something is in contact with a surface, but not necessarily enclosed by it, like the book is on the table. On the other hand, under is used to show that something is beneath or below another object, such as the shoes are under the bed. Got it. How about next to, behind, and in front of? Next to indicates proximity, like the school is next to the library. Behind is used when something is at the back of another object, as in the car is behind the truck. And in front of is the opposite, indicating something is at the front, like the teacher is in front of the class. That makes sense. What about against, between, above, below, far from, and among, certainly? Against is used to indicate contact with a surface, like the painting is against the wall. Between is used when something is in the middle of two or more objects, for example. The cafe is between the bookstore and the pharmacy. Above means higher than something, such as the bird is above the tree. Below is the opposite, indicating something is lower, like the fish is below the surface of the water. Far from is used to express a distance, like the beach is far from here. And finally, among is used when something is surrounded by other things or people, for instance, she is among friends at the party. Thank you so much for explaining these prepositions. I think I understand them better now. You're welcome. Practice using them in sentences, and you'll become more comfortable with their usage. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask.